All hell breaks loose at WH as Trump uncovers Obama's covert order to agents to take out his entire family. Just because Obama is out of the White House, it doesn't mean that his nasty talons aren't fully embedded in Washington, D.C., as his team of spies keep infiltrating Trump's administration to do his dirty bidding. As Obama operates his shadow government from the headquarters of his D.C. mansion just three miles from the White House, there's still believed to be around 30 leakers who have infiltrated Trump's administration, where they continue to take classified government intel back to the liberal media. While Trump is no doubt watching his back now more than ever, he was never prepared for one of his top military generals and trusted advisors to also be one of Obama's spies. Trump just learned through a CIA official what this Obama spy has illegally been doing for months through an illegal covert operation, and now all hell has broken loose at the White House. Obama has been relentless in his pursuits to take down President Trump ever since our new president took office where he even managed to get one of his Muslim operatives a job in Trump's homeland security for a brief period of time. Trump's deputy national security adviser Dina Habib Powell was discovered to not only be a Muslim, but good buddies with Hillary Clinton and Obama's former Iranian Muslim Brotherhood adviser Valerie Jarrett as well, who was reporting everything she knew back to the liberal media. Trump promptly fired Powell after discovering she the one behind Obama's coup, and the series of leaks coming from the White House. While President Trump has been extremely careful lately to vet members of his inner circle after being stabbed repeatedly in the back, now we're learning that his very own national security adviser and top military general, H.R. McMaster, is also an Obama operative who has been working secretly with Obama for months even authorizing illegal surveillance on President Trump. This latest scandal that's ripping through Washington, D.C. was just unearthed by CIA officer John R. McGuire, who revealed during a recent intelligence gathering operation that McMaster was the individual this entire time authorizing illegal surveillance on President Trump, including Trump's entire family and also Steve Bannon. McGuire revealed that McMaster was one of the members of Obama's inner circle for eight years saying that the military general has been using a burner phone to send information of his unlawful surveillance to an outside source. What's even more chilling is that this intelligence that was gathered by McMaster was then sent straight to a surveillance facility in Cyprus that is owned by George Soros. The Intercept reports. McGuire told at least two people that National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster, in coordination with a top official at the National Security Agency, authorized surveillance of Stephen Bannon and Trump family members, including Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump. Adding to these unsubstantiated claims, McGuire told the potential donors he also had evidence H.R. McMaster used a burner phone to send information gathered through the surveillance to a facility in Cyprus owned by George Soros. Now Trump has finally had enough and is launched a spy network of his own in order to combat Obama's spies who keep managing to infiltrate him. He's now looking to hire Blackwater founder Eric Prince and John R. McGuire who will then provide CIA director Mike Pompeo and the White House with a global, private spy network that would go around the U.S.'s official swamp-infested intelligence agencies, the Gateway Pundit reported. This would be a huge blow to Obama's shadow government as Trump's own private spy network would be able to circumvent the FBI and CIA, both agencies that have become corrupt and politicized under Obama with the appointment of ardently anti-Trump judges and directors. This would allow Trump to oust these infiltrators without the interference of any crooked members of these agencies working to bring him down. It's absolutely insane how Obama is still managing to destroy our country through the minions he's implanted all throughout Washington, D.C. Subversion of a sitting president is a very serious federal crime, and no doubt General McMaster will soon be answering for his crimes against our president as more information about his treasonous scandal comes to light.